Well, it would appear that for once I'm not the biggest queen in town anymore. I can never get my lines straight. Do you think this is too much? Well, do you want to tell the space station that you're gay? Oh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bitches! Oh! Everybody say gay pride! Welcome back to CoolCapeTravel.com for fun and informative travel videos. It's nice. I am standing at the only gay crosswalk in Africa. It's different. Welcome to Cape Town, the pink crown jewel of the mighty African continent. It's unusual. Not only is it one of the only countries in Africa where homosexuality is decriminalized, but LGBT rights in South Africa are enshrined in one of the most progressive constitutions in the whole world. And you are watching a preview of the most fabulous gay-friendly tour in town. It really is quite something. There was a castle, there was a castle. Yeah. My sweet rock on the. Such good value, you must come down. It's so cheap. Yeah. It's so cheap. It has a name. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a mammo. This is the street corner where, on a fateful Saturday afternoon in 1967, a young woman called Denise Darval was tragically struck in a hit and run accident where she sustained a serious brain injury. Denise was swiftly transported up the road to the Kruteskid Hospital, where she was declared brain dead within hours, and her father gave consent for her heart and kidneys to be transplanted. It was in this very theater where a young and upcoming heart surgeon called Dr. Christian Barnard was about to perform a modern medical miracle. Denise's heart was successfully transplanted to a gentleman called Louis Bashkansky, and overnight, Dr. Christian Barnard became the most famous person on the planet to this day. South Africa is still a center of excellence for heart surgery and Cape Town is a pioneer in robotic heart surgery techniques. That is the new gun. It is the oldest gun in the world in daily use and they started firing it in 1806 as a time signal to the ships waiting in Table Bay. This is Cape Town's iconic unfinished freeway built in the early 1970s. Do not believe everything you hear on the street here. The engineer did not make a calculation error and committed suicide as a result. The simple truth is that the money ran out. A large chunk of public money was being diverted into realizing the apartheid dream of separate development. That meant that a community of 60,000 people that used to live in District 6 behind me was forcibly removed and dumped on the other side of the mountain because of the color of their skin. It was the brutal enforcement of these apartheid-era laws that resulted in South Africa becoming the most unequal society in the world.
shock Getting at the top of the Come on, this is just book sale already at coolcaretravel.com A lack of rules, and here is a tip that you might not know Sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on it It breaks down the fat mm. Mm.